Howdy, Mojave D here. I'm doing well. I hope you are doing well. I do. And um, we're about to play Red Dead 1 here. I think this is episode 9 or 8. I, I lost track. Anyway, in case you uh, are new, watching for the first time, what you're seeing here is not a, uh, um, a how-to, <laughs> how-to-do or where to find stuff video, all right? This is a man in his 70s who uh, has never played the game before and who has not watched any YouTube videos about it. So, um, what you you know, if you're gonna get feel like you might get frustrated watching an old man um, stumble, bumble, and fumble his way through, then uh, you might not want to watch, <laughs> you know. Um, and uh, which makes me reflect on I don't watch any any of YouTube's on this, uh, but I have been watching them on um, Red Dead Two, which is the series that we completed a while ago. Well, it's not complete. You don't that game. <laughs> you, you don't actually beat that game or, or really finish it. But we got all the way through the story and everything, and we're in the epilogue. And so I'm allowing myself, I mean, I'm watching other YouTube videos on it, and I realized what we did was unique and one of a kind, uh, that series. It truly is. Um, and I'm, I realize that, you know, watching other people, because it's not a, it, there's nothing, there are great content creators out there doing um, how-tos and where-to-finds and things you might have missed. Um, good stuff. Uh, really, really excellent. Um, the, the, the playthroughs, people saying, you know, first time blind and all that, um, they're not, I mean, uh, I mean, well, it might be their first time playing the game, but they're familiar with the genre. I'm not, I'm not even familiar with this type of game and, um, and the, um, uh, you can tell that they're not playing blind I mean they're not good enough actors to um, make to make you think oh you knew what was coming come on you you knew you know how it goes you know what's going on and I didn't and and that's my that's credit to my son Adam and when he told me to do that Red Dead 2 I said no no and then he bought the game for me for Christmas I said, all right I gotta play it but I'm gonna watch first thing I said to him was I gotta watch some YouTubes on this so I know what I'm doing. He said, "No, no, no, no. You can't watch any. You can't watch anything. You, can, you know." He says, "That's gonna. That's the thing is, you know, a man in his 70s playing, you know, doing this completely blind." And I, of course, my ego says, "No, I, I don't want to make a fool out of myself on camera in front of people." You know, I need to know what I'm doing. You know, when you're doing a YouTube video, you want to come off as some kind of an expert. You know, you want to come off as at least competent and, you know, say, look, hey, look here, look how good I am at this, you know. Uh, that's what, you know, that's your ego and your, you know, your vanity, you know. And he says, no, 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 no. He says, nothing. You can't watch anything. So that's, you know, what makes that series unique and one of a kind is is all of that number one it's the game uh the game is respond the game and the community is responsible the red dead community i had no idea existed um all these all of you people wonderful people all over the world un, un, inconceivable i couldn't even conceive of any of that so it's the game which is, I think they made the perfect video game. I think it's Red Dead 2. That's as close to a perfect video game as you can get. Um, and it's the community. And then it's people willing to um, come along and so that they can vicariously experience a first-time experience, a true first time reactions and experience from somebody who has is completely blind and that's what makes it unique um you know it's one of a kind and i'm, I'm just realizing that um that series is one of a kind uh, it can't be du duplicated um 
and um, I think I, I'm realizing that because I'm watching all the other ones now, and um, so you know it, it's a, been a great blessing. But I'm gonna stop flapping my jaw. I'm just just that I've I've been watching the the Red Dead Two videos, a lot of them, and um, I'm just realizing how unique that series uh, was that that we did. And, um, and special, and I fully expect um, things to level off and drop off. And that's fine. I mean, how do you, you know, I can't, I can't replicate that. I can't duplicate that, and I'm not trying to. Um, you know, it would take another great game like that. It would take the, a great community and, uh, and people willing to, uh, to watch that. And I don't think there's another game, Black, Red, Dead 2, that um, that fulfills that criteria. So I'm not trying to um, or feeling any stress about oh we got to keep building, we got to keep building, we got to we got to get more subscribers and all that kind of stuff. No, 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 not at all. Um, I'm very grateful and and um, and and happy with with what you all did in 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 that series. But all of that being said, let us jump into John's story here and it's a hell of a lot of fun uh, it's a hell of a lot of fun so even though it's the same concept uh, this series you know old man playing blind completely blind um, not watching any Red Dead videos uh, one uh, it, it, it's it's not it's the game, okay? It's not the game that Red Dead 2 is. So I don't expect, I don't expect that kind of response. Uh, because like I said, the, the most important thing, number one, is the game. Number two is the community. Number three is the old fart stumbling, bumbling, and fumbling through it. If I'm even number three, I don't know in that, in that um, priority list of what makes it, uh, what makes it click. So anyway, uh, let me get, uh, I gotta find my headset. Let me get my headset on and uh, we shall jump on in. So smoke them if you got them, I'll be right back. All right, man, I'm back. Um, oops, <laughs> well, I didn't do the thing I said I was gonna do, so I'm not back. <laughs> Hold on, I went out had a smoke, I'll be right back. Okay, now we got the ears on. <laughs> let's let's uh, let's jump on in. I do have a plan, Dutch. I have a plan, Dutch. Dutch, I have a plan. The plan is I want to get to Bill, and I've been allowing myself to get sidetracked. Oh, look at this. I'm sorry. I do. I do get. I mean. Ah, uh, it, it, it just brings back memories, man. It really does. So do I have to tear this down or do I just get on, uh, get on shadow and take off? Or do I just leave it? I didn't. <laughs> All right. What we want to do here, what I want to do is, is get on with this story and not get sidetracked. The game makes it easy to get sidetracked. Like, we have a sidetrack right here. Um, flowers for a lady. Um, and the last time I tried to do this, these jokers, I got ambushed. Um, oh, no, this is, uh, this is collecting flowers. I, th that was another one. We're not going to do the collecting, getting the, all the flowers right now. We're going to head on over here. And I'm going to try not to get distracted. Which is, um, oh man, this is so, guys, this is so good. See, I've ridden down roads like this, you know, that, that go 
go through an, a wash. It's like a... How do you make the horse jump? The horse doesn't want to do that? That's easy. You can do that. Uh, and so that's why I get all... <laughs> what is the horse's problem? Once again, I gotta learn how to... How the controls work. Why won't the horse go down there? Now he will. He says, it's too steep, boss. But see this right here? I have been in that. Did I save her? Did I save her? She's just running off. She's just gonna run now. Ma'am. Where'd she go? She's running back the other way now. And see, this is, this is what I mean. Didn't I just say I wasn't going to get distracted? We were just going to do as much of the story as we could. I was going to focus. Didn't I just say that? Can we not pick this? I want to ride the horse. There's a plant here to pick. Oh, it's over here. There we go. Can we pick it? What do we get? A fever few. Uh, that is not what he's looking for. For the flowers for the lady. So I saved the woman. But we don't get to. Uh, yeah. We don't get a. We don't get to get a hug. So harvesting these things just amounts to money. I'm gonna let it go. I want to get as far as I can. Oh, here we are again. Shadow says, "Nope." No, this is very, very. This is also so familiar to me. I mean, the, the landscaping is. how the music kind of lets you know that something might be coming up you know it gets a little uh, there now it's, it's getting a little lighter but sometimes the music gives you that that vibe of uh, danger you know something's about to happen come back between five and ten okay um, why come on. why because it's not ready. That's why. All right. Well, let's hitch up. And let's wait. Rest. Five dollars. Um, clock? Um, um, clock? Um, how do we, um, how do I pass the time until morning? Well, we can say, do a quick save, I guess. Oh, is that how you do it? Um, why? But it's still night time. And my horse is gone. So we gotta be here at 10 o'clock in the morning. Is there a way to... 
There isn't. What you doing way over there, Shadow? Can we do something with the poke pooch? No, I can just ride the horse. So, in my attempt. Now we have a yellow X. <laughs> Again with this guy? Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead, <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers, but did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? <laughs> I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> <laughs> Look, can you tell any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy. Your plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. Yes. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. Yes. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull. Feeding to the vultures myself. <laughs> now you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um, oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this <laughs> being America... <clears throat> That lubricant with which we concern ourselves <coughs> is money. Money? <coughs> what are you talking about? Oh, oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. And I need some danger money. So, let's sell some more of these cures. <coughs> sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? <laughs> no, the sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. Racing, A oh goodness. Activity without oh. reproach. Exactly. Not good at this. The kind of activity <laughs> where a lying, cheating degenerate yeah. like myself can prosper. <laughs> but come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. Uh, oh no. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Riding shotgun. Oh, good, he's driving. Skip to destination. Seth is an interesting fellow, is he not? Well, oh, I kind of want to listen. More deeply disturbed. I can see why you two get along. I see the good in everybody, John. It's a flaw of mine. I have a soft spot for life's flotsam and jetsam. Connection with them more like, you and Seth have a lot in common. You both rob people for one. Mind you, at least he waits until they're dead. Oh, my dear boy. Nobody is more critical of drinkers than a drunk in his ways. What are you talking about? Come on. I like how they got the springs in there, you know. The the shock absorbers for the coach. Come on now, John. I've heard about you. You spent your life robbing people. It's a little inappropriate to be taking the moral high ground now. I had the courtesy to put a gun in their face. Whatever helps you sleep easily at night. We stole from those who had too much. We tried to give to those who had too little. A Robin Hood with spurs. Oh, romantic. You're expecting to believe that poppycock? Maybe I'll have the good fortune to be able to leave my various lights behind one day. 
work on the government's dime. Don't talk about things you don't understand. Dear, oh dear, simmer down, my boy. You need to start appreciating your friends more. Folks around here yeah, don't see friend. me as any different from Bill Williamson. I didn't think I'd have to huckster snake oil and dig up the dead, that's all. Take it from me, John. Collaboration is the key to success. I can help you. Seth can help you. It's business. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no need to make it quite so personal. Suits me. Nice. The light, the lantern on the side. We don't need the raindrops on the camera, guys. Accentuate positive. Latch on to the affirmative. Eliminate the negative. I can do this. He's got me motivated. Thanks, coach. Chariot race, man. Okay, here we go. Supposed to turn. Oh, I'm stuck. Is there a way to go backwards? Going back up. <laughs> I, I think I did something wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. 
Well, I thought that was the finish line. Are they up ahead of me? Do I have to catch these jokers now? This is like uh, the Pikes Peak race, man. Well, it helps if you don't run into bowlers. I don't think I'm going to do well on this one. I'm going to catch them. is over, right? Whoop. Are they cheering for me? He's in the last place. I'm cheer for the last place, guy. I don't think I can catch him, boys. Some of them, man. finish in first place. <sighs> Liars cheats and other proud Americans. One, I didn't see what that said. Siddly D. <laughs> I didn't see what it said. I think R1 is the break, isn't it? Some of those boys are catching up. if you stay on the dirt road. Our 
right. Woo. <laughs> that was fun. Hell of a race, mister. I'll take care of this party, Mr. Westnick. <laughs> Get in his coach. I I I want a do I get a trophy? Do I get a kiss from a pretty girl? Right. Best to move ourselves to the stage before somebody decides they want their money back. Bye by me. Wasn't that fantastic? The cheers of the crowd, the thunder of the wheels, the blood rocks, the homicidal maniac. Oh come on, John! Even a cold-hearted misanthrope like you must have found that misanthrope. Tiniest bit exhilarating. Not the friendliest bunch, are they? They take the racing very seriously in these parts. And your participation was not entirely the approved. That was clear. Ah, sport, war, and heartache. The, the guilty pleasures of mankind since the dawn of time. Get away from the men we just swindled before you start waxing too lyrical. Gotcha. <laughs> waxing too lyrical. Is he still driving? Sir, well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. <laughs> Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Okay. Irish. Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow, and he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. <laughs> Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? <laughs> All right. I don't get any money for that. I didn't get a hug and a trophy from a pretty girl or nothing. Meet Iris at the livery at Armadillo at Eye on your map. Alright. Well, as soon as Shadow gets over Shadow. Alright. So, let's, um, let's set a course for Eye on the map. This is good. This is good. I thoroughly enjoyed that. You know, I just had to, I had to get the lay of the land, man. I had to know what the course was, you know. I done thought we, uh, I thought we want, well, hey, let's go back and get this just in case this is part of flowers for the lady. Flowers for a lady. I saw it pop up. There it is. It's sage. She doesn't want sage, but we have it. guys in on that race uh, on the second the second try there where I, where I came in third reminded me of a story man reminds me of a story um it's 1978 and my boss just bought a 1979 corvette stingray and she shows up at the uh, at the restaurant yes my boss was a sheep she just bought this thing so it's 1978 but it's a 79 corvette stingray it was cream colored they had um brown leather seats and she had it she bought all the 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 top line uh version of of the 79 corvette stingray and um i'm at work at the restaurant and um 
you know, but I'm getting off. So I'm walking out there in the parking lot and there she is with this thing. And I go, wow. She goes, look what I just bought. And I'm like, that is really something, you know, wow, wow, wow. And she got to talking and she says, look, I, I want to break it in. Do you know a stretch of road, a good stretch of road to break it in, to break in my, my new Corvette Stingray? And uh, I made a couple of suggestions to her, you know, and then I said, hey, you know what? What you should do is just take it to Vegas. This was in, uh, so we're in Orange County, um, Anaheim, I believe, Anaheim. And um, I said, just take it to Vegas, man, and uh, that'll be a good break in for it, you know, just just get out. To, she said, I just want to get it out on a, on a road where I can just, you know, open it up and let it rip, you know. I said, I'd take it to Vegas. And she said, okay, you drive. And she threw me the keys. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I, um, you know, this is like a Friday night. And I said, ah, oh, man, you know, I've been working on, I said, look, I got to, um, no, you know, I was trying to, I was like, uh, you know, you're my boss. And um, anyway, so uh, I, you know, I said, I got to work tomorrow. You know, I was making all kinds of excuses. She says, she says, come on. So we go back inside and she gets on the phone. There's no cell phones in those days. She gets on the phone and calls the assistant manager and tells him that uh, he needs to switch uh, his days off with me. So he goes, "There you go, store's covered for the weekend." And uh, you know, and I'm like, "I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sweaty and all. You know, I said, you know, I gotta go take a shower and change. I, you know, I just got my work clothes on." She produces a brand new powder blue silk shirt. She had purchased a shirt and it's on a hanger. She says, she says, here, I got a, I got clothes for you. Uh-huh. And I'm like, hey, you know, <laughs> I'm like, look, um, uh, you know, I, I, man, I love working with you. I, I respect you and, you know, uh, we get along great and everything, but, you know, and she goes, oh, no, no, nothing like that, nothing like that. I just, I just want to, you know, uh, air the car out. I want to test it and see how it goes, and I'm not a good driver for that kind of thing. She just, she says, no strings attached, no strings attached, and I, all right. So anyway, long story short, we get, we take off, and we get in this uh, Corvette. Now, just to let you know, I, I'll jump ahead. I made it from Anaheim to Las Vegas. I don't remember how far what how many minutes it was i can't remember but i did the calculation when, when we got there average average speed 90 miles per hour night average speed okay man we <laughs> we're flattening the hills and straightening out the curves man i mean i was taking curves that had um you know it'll say speed limit you know on the, you know going around the curve there's only a few curves on that on that road there's only a couple of parts that are curvy most of it's a really straight shot and uh but on the curves, there'd be curves of speed limit, 50 miles an hour. I was, take, I was taking 50 mile an hour curves at 90. I was slowing down to 90 in that thing, okay? So I just jump ahead on that. So the average speed by the, the calculations I made was 90, and that included a pit stop. We stopped in Baker. Uh, Baker, California is just outside of Barstow. So you, get, you, you go through Barstow, and then you get to Baker, and... Um, we were we we needed gas uh you know i figured when we got in it we had enough gas to make it all the way to vegas this car had 14 miles on it when we started okay i had 14 miles on it. it was a brand new corvette anyway um it, it, i didn't calculate i didn't take into account that i'd be going over 100 miles an hour the whole time so we used a lot more gas than i thought we had. so we're going to need to get gas so we stopped in baker to get gas right she goes inside to buy coffee and some snacks and stuff like that and i'm putting the gas in the in the uh, in the vet and here comes a Mercedes into the into the um, gas station there at Baker I mean he came in hot man it's a Mercedes in a four-door sedan and I mean that th he hit the brakes and that thing went eh, eh. I mean it rocked it rocks to a stop you know he's between me and the uh, the convenience store right and this boy gets out, this old boy gets out, and, you know, cowboy boots, cowboy hat, but he was dressed in a, you know, in like a, uh, a nice, a nice sports coat, nice slacks, you know, and he's walking at me with purpose, 
I mean, he was walking, and I'm thinking, what the heck's going on here? You know, is this, this guy going to fight me? And then I thought, no, you know what? That's a sheriff. That's an off-duty sheriff. Because what he said to me was, how fast are you going? That's the first thing's out of his mouth, right? Cowboy boots, cowboy hat. Nice jacket. Nice uh, sport coat. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. And he says, I've been doing 100, and I think I'm going to get a ticket. You know, off-duty sheriff or something, and a highway patrolman. And he says, uh, he says, I've been going 110 for the last 30 minutes trying to catch you. I'm going to beat your ass to Vegas. Jumps in the, the Mercedes and just burns rubber out of there. You know, leaves tire marks out of the gas station. I go, Brenda! I, got, I yelled so loud that she heard me in the store. She comes running out of the store without her stuff. You know, she, she left it on the counter because she thought something was terrible was wrong. Something happened, you know. But she heard me inside the store. That's how loud I yelled. And, and, and she said, I said, that guy in that Mercedes just challenged us to a race to Vegas. Get in. She runs back in the store. She comes out. She, she scoops all the stuff off the counter. Didn't wait for him to bag it up. She comes out with all this stuff in her arms. Get in. Let's go. You know, I'm putting the, the, the you know, the, the hose back in the slot there. And uh, vroom. I take out. We take off after him. Couldn't catch him. Couldn't catch him. He had a, so now he's got a good old head start. Now, and we're going and going and going and going and going from Baker. He's going and going. And I'm just zip, zip, zip. Cars are just zip, 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 zip. You know, I'm just reeling them in, just like up right there. So I'm reeling them in, man, gaining on them and passing them. They're zip, zip, zip. All these red uh, uh, taillights are just zipping by us. You know, zoo. And about, I don't know, we we get going down there. I don't know how long, maybe, maybe 15, 20 minutes. And no sign, I'm going, man, I said, he got too much of a jump on us. I said, he's going to get, I, we can't get him. But, but then there's a hill, right? We come up to a hill, and it's one of the last hills before you get up to Vegas. So it, it, it's a slight incline like this, and you crest, and then you come on down, and you get down there, and you can see state line and all that. So this is the last hill. And I go, I said, and I'm seeing the cars now. There's very few cars on the road at this point, but I'm seeing the red tail lights, and I'm, I'm reeling them in. I'm reeling them in, you know, and passing them. You know, they're zip going by. But there's one set of taillights way up there that I'm reeling in real slow, you know. It's real slow, gaining on it real slow. And I go, that's him. And she says, so you sure? I go, that's him. Yeah, I said, because we're reeling them in real slow. So we're going up this grade, and I'm reeling them in, reeling them in, reeling them in. I go, that's him, that's him. I said, we got him, we got him. And she goes, she goes, well, you know, he doesn't even know that we're behind him. Probably, oh, he knows. Nobody else is going this fast that could catch up to him like that. So, uh, you know, doing like 120, whatever, 125. Just, and um, I, I pull. I said, no, we got him. We got him. He's all in. He is all in. We were doing about 110 up the grade. I looked at the speedometer. We're doing like about 110 up this, you know, slide uphill. And I'm like, uh, no, he's all in. He's all in, and I am not. She goes, you're not? I go, no, it is not floored. And so, <laughs> so we pull up right beside him like this, right? And I lean over and look at him, and he's like, argh, argh. you know, he's like, he's like trying to push the car, you know, trying to push that Mercedes harder with like by moving, you know. I say, we got him, man. That dude's six four. He's got to weigh like two thirty, two forty, you know. I, I weigh two hundred. You weigh about one twenty, you know. We're at you know, what is that? What is that? Uh, we're at 320. Uh, he's at, he's at, um, you know, 230, 240. And he's got two other people in the car, man. He's, he's pulling like 500 pounds. He probably has suitcases in there. You know, his, his wife probably weighs 130 and he's got another dude in the back. has got to weigh at least 200 and he's got suitcases. He's, he's pulling over 500 pounds. We only got 300 and, uh, and 20 pounds in here. And, uh, <laughs> plus we, got, so I'm like, no, nah, we got him. We got him. So we pull up there, and I just, I just push the pedal down the last part and just <laughs> beat his butt to Vegas. Anyway, we won that race. Okay, enough of that. Let's get it. Come on. Did not see a police officer the entire way. I'm telling you, when I slowed down to 90, it felt like 60. Because when you're going over 100, go. you know, 110, 120 or more, um, when you slow down to 90, it feels like 60. 
Yeah. That is in my top three best uh, road trips. <laughs> What's all that noise? What am I hearing? I heard a lot of Oh, come on. Stay on target. He's running out of stamina. I forgot this one isn't fully broke in. I got the shadow. My horse that was fully broke in killed. So this one isn't completely leveled up. Look out, coyote. Bunch of coyotes. I'm so glad that they put the pelts. Uh, into Red Dead 2, you know, made the pelt uh, thing a thing, and, uh, you know, for getting trinkets and outfits, and you needed to hunt in order to get meat, and you had to camp and eat. I'm so glad they did all that. So we're looking for an Irishman named Irish. There are old newspapers for sale you can purchase. I understand that, but I'm looking for somebody in particular and it is my intention hello, hello to get as far along with this story as I can today all right let's leave the horse here so we don't get it killed in case Irish um, is antagonistic. Oh, hey! Oh, yes, boy, oh, you missed a boy oh. this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving Nick Cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Imaginative yeah, names. Welsh and French. Like it, your whole world's gonna turn black. Yeah. Okay, it's we gotta save him. <sighs> Fuck off, boy -o. This don't concern boy you. I'll boy you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boy -o. I love the way he said boy -o. Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Law's clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think Good you advice. Are, boy the bloody cavalry? Yeah, take the advice. Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy -o. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. Okay. Who the hell invited you to Well, I didn't see another Mr. option. Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life. Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, <laughs> lacking the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Okie doke. I guess it was okay to kill those guys. Alrighty, my guardian angel, this way. My guardian angel. Come on, then. Let's find this guy. My guardian angel, am I? Come on. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck, you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> the world's finest. Drunk me humanity. last breakfast. They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them. Friends. Dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Thick as thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The ah! kind of fellows who will steal an acorn from a blind sow, and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look. 
look on their faces when we blast in there, they'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. Overly <laughs> aggressive? Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Two-bit slugs who think they're snakes. Meet at the cliff. Okie doke. Here we go. Give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that shack. Okay. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, you do that, Boyle. I search the cabin for the machine gun. I have a feeling these boys ain't gonna be real happy about me doing that. Take it like a man. What the hell do you want? We got our... Ah! Was there a way to, like, reason with these guys? Should I have tried to reason with them? You fellas couldn't hit the ground with your hat. Couldn't hit the ground with your hat. Get behind the rock, son. Dive down. Talk to this fella. To the victor, the spoil. I'm keeping my eye out for more to show up. You know, people late to the party. Doesn't look like there's going to be anybody late to the party. Okay, you don't have to run, son. You can take your time. Search the cabin. Where's, where's Irish? Where's my sniper cover? Die, you son of a bitch. Well, I'm glad John saw him. I didn't. Double barrel. It's not here. That lion sack, sack of shit. shit. This isn't uh, like where you search and loot things hidden in the fireplace kind of game. Lion sack of shit is right. I almost got killed. Um, so. Irish, uh, you got some splaining to do, boy. Let's get my little red Corvette down here. My little brown Corvette. Where you at? Up top. Come. Irish, you got some splaining to do, boy. Somebody shoot at me? Well, I saw some more plants. So I'm, I'm, I'm got that um, flowers for a lady thing in mind. We keep getting the same. Shooting at why? 
Hunter went down. I guess that lets me know who I was shooting at. <laughs> Guess I ain't got much time for the law. Who are you? I just never know the right way to proceed with these things. Let's see what you got. Five bucks. Six. I'm made out like a bandit. But you know. Um, you know, first thought was he was running away from bandits and um, I was going to rescue him and it occurred to me a little late that he was the bad guy and I killed the law. Just a little bit late on that realization. Yeah. Sorry. Enough crimes before you lost the local constable. What, 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 what? be a pos- Oh, shit. Come on. Let's go. Ah, I'm committing crimes? <laughs> I don't know why. I didn't mean to. Uh, how do I, how do I pay that off? Oh, I forgot about the, uh horse not having maximum stamina and the loss coming. So what do I have to do? Expect more lumber to track you down until you pay your debt to society. Um, okay, where do I do that? Map. Um, crap! <laughs> oh, you know, stuff happens. Um, um, that's a stagecoach, Benedict Point. Uh, can I pay it in Tumbleweed? Uh, Tumbleweed's like deserted. Uh, rentable property in, in the farm. And we can go back to Armadillo and pay it maybe. Where do I pay it? Um, the general store? I mean, where do you pay this stuff? Um, I'll be a place. Like, oh, here we go, pay bounty. Okay, so I need a telephone pole looking thing. Pay bounty. We got one closer? Nope. All right, pay bounty. And expect more law. Is there a way to heal up the horse? I mean, he got shot. Is his horse, if it, is his health down at all? Come on. Okay, I, 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 you know, 
I'm not helping anybody anymore. Could I, I should have shot that dude and not the lawman. They would have been um, happy if I had done that, wouldn't they? Okay, don't mess with me now. I'm paying. I'm paying it off. I'm paying it off. Don't mess with me. Oh, that guy's got a badge. Okay, he's clueless though. Um, give pardon letter. I have a pardon letter. Been pardoned. Hey, mister. Hey there. Ah. That was easy. I do have a room here, too. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to take advantage of my room. Another lawman. Hey, buddy. We're all good now, aren't we? We're all good. I had carte blanche. Is it upstairs? Is this is this the one that's uh, it's upstairs? Yeah. Well, save the game. I I really miss. Him not actually being able to like sleep, you know. Honey, um, where's your dress? Um, okay, here it is. So, because all we can do here is. What? That's not it? I'm in the wrong room? That's my room. Well, the green seems to be the way down the yonder. Um, change outfits. I don't... I want to save the game. All right, man. Somebody said something about John Marston. Um, save file. Sure. All right, man. Smoke them if you got them. Break the time. All right, let's go find Irish. That sucker ripped us off. Open container. Oh, cool. Shotgun ammo. Oh, cool. Try. Right, I can restock here. Change out. Uh, change outfits. Huh. Uh, complete Twin Rocks hideout. And I can have this. Purchase suit. I track. Remove tracking. Twins. Twin Rocks hideout. A worn duster. Uh, well, he can put on a duster right now. And, and now, when I hit track that, did it? Well, that's going to Irish. So, um, Deadly Assassin, Scrap 2. And then we open up a new outfit. Woohoo! Um, I don't know why. I, I mean, I'm getting off track. I needed to go get Irish, but he's close. Well, let's give him a let's give it a try. Howdy, mister. 
I mean, it's just right up there. Let's call the Corvette on over. Let's see if we can get this done real quick and then we'll get over to Irish. Deadly assassin. Gonna be sniping at me from the rocks or something. I'm getting off track. Let's get out of that jig job. Rancher near the rock. I never could stay out of trouble. I could really use a hand, friend. I'm way over my head here. Them animals. Walton's boys have taken my daughter. Okay. This is a good call. Looks like we got trouble heading our way. Assassin. <clears throat> we got two men up on rocks. That's uh Smart, buddy, and get on out of here. Dear God, thank God you're safe. Let's get you back home. Woo. Twin rocks complete. The buzzards are showing up. Has gone up. What have you got for me?
know if I want to go up uh, up there and get those guys that are up top. I don't even know if I can get up there. We did loot him, right? He didn't say I got anything. Um, sit at camp. Um, why would I do that? I don't think I can get up there. How'd that boy get up there? I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> Probably it was just five bucks, right? There's another house over there. What in the heck? That looks like a good rifle. Let's go get Irish. I, I think that was worth it. I don't know. Um, I don't tell me he disappeared. Get on it. Get, 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 get. Come on. So sensitive. Come on. I, I want to be right on the eye. All right, close enough. Close enough for government work. We have a new outfit we can wear. I guess we need to. <laughs> okay, I got off track. Where's where's my trail? Sorry, buddy. A nice full moon. Irish is supposed to help us get a machine gun. Am I understanding that right? And why did he lie? Is he trying to get me killed? Get me off his uh, off his back? Stolen wagon. Come on. Hey. Why'd you steal her wagon, son? No, 
No, I was trying to back up. Okay, that's how you back up. I was looking down to whistle for my horse. Dang! This thing is fast! <laughs> Shadow about runs her over. Not a problem. You take care of yourself. Just get Irish. My fame is going up. Ride state coaches, you can ride. It, it's got an exclamation point. So I'm assuming that means I can ride it. Oh, dude, Irish, we gotta talk. Is that Irish on the side, all drunk? Yep. Course. Let Uncle Irish untie them strings. Oh, he's talking to himself. Who do you hunt? I, I see you. Get away from me. Right here. I see you. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. I, I found one. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there, and who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> all the time? You don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. Oh, I friend. wants to buy you oh, a drink. I, I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, You'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <laughs> it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. <sighs> and it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's do that. <sighs> Not a fella to give up easily, are ye? Nope. So we're gonna ride some more. And this guy rides like a maniac. And look who's talking. Hey! You're on my horse. And he got... Wait a second, we switched horses. What the heck is up with that? Get off my horse. You're not gonna pass out on me, are you, Irish? Oh, me? No, I'm right as rain. You're on my you're horse. Just somewhere stuck between fair and medley. Well, you're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, fella. The intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just gets a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus. You're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Creek. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose. <laughs> or sell it. I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Mine? Oh, real fishy to me, Irish. A 
I've just about had it with you and your gang. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. <laughs> Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life, and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Two so the miners don't see us coming. I yeah, get off my horse. What with a machine gun? Miners are always flighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and darkness, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That's going heavier than sin. Oh, How man. was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Two-faced little bastard. Come on! You better get off my horse. I want my horse back. The lie of the land. The lie of the land is uh, heavily guarded. Well, I want to see two. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play. Get off my horse. Places. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft. And Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. You're trespassing. State your business or move along. Open fire! <laughs> Blazes! That went well. How many times I gotta shoot that guy? Your health is getting low. Select it and press X. How do I select my health and press X? How do I select my health? got a double barrel. How do I select health? Um, hold on. I need the health. I need, I need, oh. Consumables. Snake oil. Medicine. Kit. Provisions. Medicine. You already have full health. Well, that's not what you told me a minute ago. He's up top. Oh, that was a bird. I'm the boy that's going to kill you. to get them before they take cover, John. that up.
Um, I forgot how I got that up. What did I do to bring that up? Um, I did something. What brought up the uh, health bar? I can't get the health bar to come up now. Um, crap, I need to, I want to get healed. Uh, ah, jeez, please. You already have full health. You know, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's try the double barrel. Only has two shots, so it's probably not a good idea. Um, what's this? Look for a Gatling in the mine's core. What drops them fast, doesn't it? Guy is upstairs. So it's a Stop that. I'm gonna keep climbing by and pay dirt. Better stop. Can I have this? Got some earthquake action going on here. Left fork core. He said to go to the core. The core is that away. Okay. We need some dynamite, I'd say. Am I gonna need dynamite to blast my way through there? Need dynamite. I think I need to heal again. You already have full health. How? I've got shot. And I got shot again. I can't see him in that fog. Smoke. What's your problem here? Am I out of bullets? Why can't he shoot? Switch guns. What you got on you, friend? Am I gonna need dynamite? have to blow that you got a problem with me. dynamite to blow it. Oh, 
Oh no, there's a way in. What can I say, partner? Don't let him get to the gun. There's a way in. At the core, three. Sound of heart. Government issue. Grab the mine cart. Push. L to push. R1 to slow down. Um. L. I'm pushing L. L2 to draw and aim your, aim your weapon. When you're pushing a cart, you gain enough speed, you'll automatically jump on. That sounds good. jump on at some point. There she is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Good grief. That's the truth. I got us a borrowed flatbed parked down there. Don't let go of her. She's a beast. What am I supposed to do? Push. Grab the mine cart and push. I'm going to have to shoot stuff. Now we need some speed here. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Can I, can I hop on it? No, apparently you can't. This executive peacemaker delivered to Old West. Executive Texas. peacemaker. Help me. Pick a machine gun. 50 cow? Just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way. What do I do? He's taking it. No, you're not my horse. 
Dag nabbit. He switched horses on me. I want my war horse, please. I want my horse. You already own a horse of that type. Save the deed for another time. I want, well, where is my horse? There he is. So what are we doing? John Marston. Yeah, that's me. Um, horse breaking job. I want some more Irish. There he is. Wow, he is way over there, man. Steve's Landing. That is a long ways. Um, that is a long ride. Come on. Up. Still trying to get the flowers to, to complete that other one. Tumbleweed coming right at us. Desert this sage. Looks like the one. Ah, that's one of the ones? Great. Let's go. It's all the way across the map. Is there a fast travel option here? I kind of wanted to look at that house up there. Um, Let's go. I think there's a, isn't there a, a fast travel kind of thing? Basic campfire, treasure map, a bandolier. Why am I not wearing it? Doubles ammo capacity. D am I not wearing it? Um, I want to know if I can fast travel as a thing. So, I can't fast travel with it. Travel destination. <coughs> um, travel waypoint. I have the waypoint set, right? Thieves Landing. This better be the last thing we have to do with Iris. This better get us the machine gun and Thieves Landing. There he is. Irish, what are you doing? Nuns. Up, sister. Put them. Oh, Irish. 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 What are you doing? Who the hell are you? Oh, God. Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, God. <laughs> Blimey. I've come to tell you, if you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now, get down there. Oh, sorry, sisters. Uh, forgive us. Here. Mr. Marston. <laughs> Mr. How are you? Marston. A shame. A shame to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Oh. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. 
At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. Apologize. No. Irish, a Gallon gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, oh, don't man. you? Oh, Heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> ah. Come on. I know where we can find the parts for you. Ah. Mother fucking Mary. <laughs> How about a drink or two, mister? Not right, right now, man. I myself a woman, miss. Huh? What you looking at? What you looking at? Huh? I can't seem to see a man walk around with such a dry pecker. Can I help? What did she just Bruce, say? I am my pritcher and fine working order. <laughs> a dry pecker. <laughs> what a lusty specimen you are. I like <laughs> that. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking, defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze-blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Christ, the church has more money than anybody. Oh, oh, dude. Dude. Where are we going, Irish? Just to the warehouse here in Steve's Landing. I'm telling you, Johnny boy, it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office, hobble-tongued fella by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're going to be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. So this guy is his friend? All right, we're here. Stay close. Shaky? Snake? Shaky? You gonna open it? Oh, great. Well, I'll be buggered. This door was supposed to be unlocked. Come on, let's see if we can get in around the back. Are I'm you? beginning to lose my patience. Yeah, me too. I'm starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drip. <laughs> this is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. Keep your eyes open. Shaky's all right, but I don't trust the gang of fools he runs with. Where are we going? Up. Shaky's made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh, shit. Who you working with? I don't know. Oh, shite. Oh, Sounds like Shaky's only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> all right. Now all you have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! Oh. Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly... <laughs> at an old time, why? You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Uh -huh. Good luck, Marston. Sneak He's a good man, in. that Shaky. I'm not sneaking in. All right, work your usual magic. I'll go get the wagon ready. Climb the ladders? Well, where are the ladders? I guess I am sneaking in. Climb the... Oh, there's a ladder. Suppose we ought to hurry. Poor Shaky is getting hurt. Ladders. Walk slowly or crouch. Well, I can't climb when I'm crouching, I guess. Sneak in through the window. Okay. I don't see 
I don't see that happening. From up here, I, I mean, I'll, I'll just fall. Um, is there a window? Um, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, and see. I'm coming, Shaky, believe it or not. I am coming. So I just alerted them or what? So I think the sneaking part is over. So I think we just crash on in. Well, they want me to sneak in through a window. I need an open window. Aha, here it is. Get a, a view of this. Can I knock this guy out? I don't know if there's a knockout thing in this game. Well, so much for sneaking. They're upstairs, too. I'm down here. I need them to come down. I was just up there, dang it. I should have stayed up there. Now they're going to have the high ground. He stops doing that, he says. I hope he stops doing that. I guess we gotta go back up there. I was just up there. I should have stayed up there. I should have shot that guy from up there. Stutters. I thought I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. Speaking of which, it's gonna be one hell of a fight. All right, let's get out of here while we got the chance. Holy crap! How am I supposed to beat all of these guys? Where is Shaky? Where is Shaky? Come on, partner. Partner. How are we partners all of a sudden? Nice I'll kill all you bastards. Uh, I'd be happy to just kill help. one. Yeah, me too. Get out of here! Oh, yeah. Aim your damn gun. He won't aim the gun. Why won't he aim the gun? Let's shoot the hell out of these towers. I'm trying. Follow me. Um. All right. Where are you going? Dynamite, nice. 
bunch of them. Shaking to the medicine gun, the machine gun. I'm thinking medicine, cause I need some. Hi. Yeah. Now we're even. Half even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. Sh -sh 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 shake. Hey now, don't make fun of it. You'll get your half. More, you dirty f -f 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 fucking snake. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. <laughs> That's a good word to stutter on. <laughs> This is a bad place to be idle, fella. Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's got to drape the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. Is this completed? Do we now have a machine gun that's operable? Shite, I'm... They're coming after us! Shoot those bastards! I'm gonna hit from the ground at you! Just drop the gun! It ain't worth it! Need a machine gun, they got a freaking army. Between me and you, we should consider making this a more permanent partnership. Uh huh. I no, I my fill of liars in this life, partner. Well, I think you're ready for part master. You got enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm gonna need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army, so I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Thank well, maybe God, not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After really? all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. Uh -huh. What do I think? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. <laughs> Impressive, Marston. We'll have West Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. Got company just pulled up outside. Ah. The Farmer Ranch Foreman's office. Follow Charlie. He's a good one to sniff out trouble. Stick next to the dog, mister. I saw the hogtie criminals and stopped them any means before morning. Extra cash reward for keeping them alive.
you don't get a break between stuff. I mean, we just got a machine gun. We go right into this. Well, I guess that's my fault for going over there, but I thought it was going to continue on with the uh, that same uh, storyline, and we go get Bill. Going in the chicken coop. Well, it's a little too narrow for John. I guess we've got to go around. Foreman's office to collect reward. Is that a good? That's a good guy. So I just need to go collect a reward. Okay. <laughs> I thought there was two bad guys, but obviously not. to bring that guy with me? I mean, I got him hogtied. Was I supposed to carry him? You tell me I'm supposed to go back and pick him up now. Baller Twins outfit menu entry updated. And we... Need to look at the map. Um, Nigel, Funny Man, and the Flowers. But we're gonna call it a video. Can I um? I need to save it. Well, I'll get that done. In the meantime, that was fun. I enjoyed it. We're making some progress. Still got a ways to go, man. I keep thinking we, we should be at Bill by now, but um, we got making progress on it. It's fun. Um, So I, I, I guess we go to Mr. Dickens again. Uh, now we got a couple of side missions there. We'll do that on the next one. Thank all of you for watching. Thank all of you for everything you've done. Appreciate you very much. Y'all take care. We'll see you on the next one.